guys, good morning. Welcome back to New Zealand. Now this morning, we've got an absolutely crystal clear morning. There's not a cloud in the sky. There's not set to, there's not set to be a cloud in the sky for the next few days, which is, which is great. It's awesome. It's crisp, it's cold. It's autumn, it's late autumn. This is our last, last month of autumn, then we go into winter. So uh, this morning I thought, right, I'll get up, get out and shoot something that I've been aiming to shoot for a long, long time. Every time I've passed this location, I've always fancied it and I've never actually pulled up to, to get a shot. So this morning is the morning. We've got a big old, get ready for this, you'll be excited. We've got a big old shearing shed, basically a big barn. And it's painted red, I think. Is it painted red? Yeah, it's painted red, like a, like a brownie red colour. And it's set amongst the little cops of trees. Here's a word for your cops. Set against the cops of trees, and it looks beautiful. So, the sun's coming up in the east, obviously. As you can see behind me, it's just getting towards dawn. And the subject is just in front of me, sort of facing west. So, uh, the, the first light of day is going to hit it beautifully. And it's going to be glowing in morning sunshine. That's the plan. I can't see anything going wrong. Uh, I'm on the. This is kind of the main highway. It's just outside a little little village called Maria Kakao. Try saying that after a few beers. Maria Kakao, which means I'll get back to you on that one. But in Maori, it means something along the lines of something. I'll get back to that. All right, guys. So for now, uh, we've got probably probably twenty minutes before we get actual dawn, and then. Uh, sunrise to follow so uh, we'll just sit tight it's cold we had a bit of a frosty start this morning first frost of the season so uh, yeah feeling a little bit cool this morning but I've still got shorts on that's the main thing all right guys uh, catch you soon The first shot was okay, too close to the fence line. I just wanted initially, my initial thoughts were just get the just get the shed in there, get the barn in there. When I'm walking out of the van, I could see the fence line running across with all lichen and just wait until the cars go by. We are on the highway. The initial idea was just to get the barn in there. And it's not red at all. I had for some reason I had it in my head that it's a sort of browny red colour. It might be when the sun comes up, but it looks black at the minute. Anyway, so the initial idea was just to get the barn in there. As it turns out, when I walked out of the van, I really liked the way the fence line frames the shot. So we're uh, stepping back just a metre or two, and uh, I think it works a lot better. See what you think. about five minutes away from sunrise just got back in the van because I'm absolutely bloody freezing actually not sure about these cold mornings it's quite crisp out there still a bit of frost on the ground which is going to be quite nice for the photograph I reckon it's just going to add an element of uh, atmosphere to the photograph I've got the heater on in the van 
two reasons. One to warm my bloody fingers up because my fingers are freezing. I should have put my gloves on. The other reason, the main reason, to warm up a drone battery because I've got a little plan to, as soon as the sun gets up, I'm going to fly the drone, not too high around here because it's, it's farmland and we've got quite a bit of stock. There's some sheep in the paddock there and you know, so I don't want to fly it too high. We've also got an air drone which is probably Oh, it's probably three k's, four k's that way. So technically, you're supposed to get permission if you fly the drone. If you, you know, within three, five, three or five k's of the uh, of the aerodrome. But because I'm going to be flying a shielded operation, meaning I'm going to be flying lower than the nearest man-made structure, which in my case will be power poles. So I'm going to fly below the power poles. And basically, all it's to do is to get like a slider shot from one side of the barn from one side of the shearing shed to the other side. So I'll just fly horizontally, vertically, horizontally, horizontally across the scene. And I'm gonna, yeah, do that in slow-mo. Just, just see if it adds a little bit. I don't know, we'll see. Basically, I'm just waffling. I'm just killing time until that sun comes up, which is gonna be three or four minutes now, I guess. So uh, it's just a waiting game, it's a waiting game. It's good. Bloody hell, this heater is unbelievably good. I'm cropping out the sky because there's nothing there. The sky is just not part of it. What a glorious day to be out. Absolutely a banging day to be out. But my God, it's cold. You guys in the Northern Hemisphere, I think I'm being a bit of a girl. But to be honest, we don't get that much bad weather here, cold wise. Not in our part of New Zealand anyway. So when we do get it, you feel it, especially when you're wearing shorts. Shed's lighted up quite nicely now. No need of any long shutter speeds. There's no sky, no clouds to worry about. I'm thinking, to be honest, I'm thinking I've got the shot that I wanted. First light on the barn. Fence line and the paddock in front. Darker. Makes the makes the barn stand out quite quite prominently. Beautiful. I want to stick around a little bit longer because I want to get a get a little bit more light on the paddock in front maybe even on this grass in the foreground where the fence line is just to give it a little bit of a, a bit of a highlight which it's starting to do now it looks nice actually scratch that it doesn't look nice it looks absolutely stunningly beautiful just reposition slightly because just the right hand side in front of the shed you see that white power pole going up there and in the shot I just took, the white power pole is in line with one of these fence poles and it just doesn't sit right. So I've just adjusted maybe six or eight inches just to get the power pole between the two fence poles just to offset them. Aesthetics. It's all about aesthetics. This is just an absolutely beautiful rural New Zealand scene. Take away the road noise and we've got tranquility en masse. It's beautiful. Well guys, I've got the shot I wanted, beautiful shot, settings wise couldn't be simpler, ISO 100, F11, around about 5 seconds at the moment, that's obviously changing a little bit as the light gets up, it's strange how the initial plan was just to shoot the barn, and then when I arrived, get out of the van, you see the fence line in front, instantly saw the potential, and it's made a far far better shot than what I could have imagined. Just framed beautifully, and this uh, this grass in the front of the fence, the first shock of light on it, 
ah, just adds adds that element adds a highlight to it it's glorious just look adds a little bit of depth to the shot all right guys listen there uh, i'm frozen hungry tired need a coffee gotta go to work just like that the plans to do an epic slider shot with the drone after the big build up it ain't gonna happen loaded the app the go for app and unfortunately it looks like it's going to automatic update and I can't do a thing with it and looking at that timer that's on it it's going to be a long 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 upload so uh, yeah no drone footage today not to worry hope you enjoyed this little trip into the New Zealand countryside which is 15 minutes away from town so it's not that far into the uh, countryside hope you're all doing well in this beautiful world wherever you are until next time in New Zealand kakiteo no have a great day